McCarthy has fallen just short of the number he needs in order to become election speaker. And as a result, we have no speaker and we really have no Congress because the House can't get up and running until it decides who its leader is going to be. There's a group of really hardcore conservatives who either don't like Kevin McCarthy or don't like the Republican leadership in general. And there are just enough of them to deny him a vote of the majority of the House. We're in historic territory now. It's, uh, we haven't seen this many ballots for a House speaker since 1859. That was right before the Civil War. And it's a fairly unprecedented situation for modern politics. The biggest consequence is that the House is, the new House is frozen in place. I mean, these guys were just elected in November. They expected to take office this month. But under House rules, you have to elect a Speaker of the House before you can swear new members in, before you can create committees, before you can take up legislation. This is not a very good look for the United States government, simply put. We at least expect the government to function and be up and running and for people to be working every day. But right now, we're not because House Republicans can't agree on who should be the Speaker. Well, the Republican Party is very divided, and that's a problem considering that they do, in fact, con control the House of Representatives right now. I think we'll be seeing this for the next two years that this House will be in session. We'll see constant complaints between uh, Republican conservatives and the more conservative members who want to do things in a different way. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.